Welcome back to the channel. This is Chai. We are going to continue on with TriFox. We are on level 3-3 Summit Trials. Okay, before we start here, I've only played this level one time. And let's just say I'm going to wing it because <laughs> this, this level is very um, time consuming in my opinion. And I do know that when I played it the first time, I got all four gems that you can get, and um, it's just time consuming, so I'll just give you that. <laughs> it's it's a bit much, but we got to do what we got to do, right? Jump down into this room, and the first thing that you're going to want to do, I'm trying my best to remember everything. There are these masks that have or heads that have lighted eyes, and we are going to put them in accordance as soon as we kill these enemies, we are going to put them in accordance to the color that they need to be. So the blue one goes with the blue. And more enemies here. It's only going to be these type of enemies that are coming out, I believe. Um, and then the green goes with the green. And there's also some slippery parts on here too, I've noticed. Okay, and then the purple will go with the purple, and the red will go with the red. Never mind, that's orange, not red. Close enough. And then it will open up a hole in the ground that we will jump down. I'm gonna get any vases for coins for our achievement and any health that you may need and jump down into the hole. And then you're going to stand on the trapezoid and that will let you drop down here. Okay. We will go break these two crystals. And to the left, it will open up the thing and we have to fight these enemies. How exciting, right? I mean, how many of these have we fought in this whole game? Multitudes? More enemies? Once you're done fighting those enemies, it's going to turn on every one of these bouncy pads. On all four corners. Okay, so the objective of this level, you got to jump on these bouncy pads and each bouncy pad that you jump on, it's going to take you up into the second level and it's going to take you into a second level over in each area. Each four of the four areas is going to be a different place that you have to do different tasks and each area will have one gem in it and sometimes you'll have to go back into an area to get the gem. And other times you just can get it while you're still in there. But every time you do an area, one door will open and then you'll have to fight more enemies after every area. It's a very, like I said, it's a time consuming, it's a time consuming situation. We will start with, I like the way I did it the first time. I did this one, this one, and then I went down over here and I did the purple one, and then I did the green one. Because as you can see, there's these gems that represent each area. So we're gonna start with the red one. Each area at the beginning of it is gonna have a full vial of health. Is this level difficult? Yes and no. It's just more time, like I said, it's more time consuming than it is anything else. Once you walk back here, you'll see that there's a one of our gems here. That cannot be gotten until we do the third area. I think it was the purple one that I said. I don't you cannot get that until you get through here. 
So as we start here, we're going to notice that we can't go any farther. But as soon as we step on this trapezoid, there will be a platform that comes up. We jump on the platform and we ride it over and we do not let ourselves get hit by these logs. Then we'll jump over here. We'll jump over here. This is going to be where our first gem is at. Gem number one of four. You can stand on these for as long as you need. I have never encountered uh, falling on any of them or having any of them fall like normal. Jump back on this. Go back over to here. There's going to be a laser that pops out that you want to jump over and not get hit by. And you'll stand on this swirly pad, which will make that door open. I did this two weeks ago. How am I remembering all this still? I guess I have a good memory, better than I thought. Then we're going to want to go off to the right here on this next area. Step on the swirl. I realize that I have special names for all of the pads. That's the swirly, then we have the trapezoid, then we have Forky. Like in uh, Toy Story. I am ridiculous, yes. That opened another door, and then we have to go off to the left. There will be more logs. Gotta love it. Waiting for the timing. Step on this swirl. Wait for the logs to go by. And you'll keep riding the path up to here and you'll have health at the end of the end of the path. Stand on the trapezoid and ride this up. There will be different sections that you can jump onto to get coins. Um, most of the time it's kind of just like uh, Russian roulette with that because sometimes you can just definitely not make it. Oh, what jerks. It'll jump up on here and get on this trapezoid, which will allow you to jump back on here. And you're going to want to jump over here and over to here and over to here. You'll be out, you'll be going and getting a bunch of coins if you would like. You don't have to do this, but if you want the money, I say go for it. And then use a bouncy pad once you're done collecting everything from here and health. And it'll bounce you right back on to where you need to be. It'll drop you down and the floor will come up and you break this and it will open part of the door and you'll see that you have something to fight a little later. And now you'll have these to fight right now when you go back down into the thing. This is our first section done. That's kind of about how long each one takes. Once we jump down, obviously we're going to have enemies to fight. 
And they become more aggressive as you go. All right, once you're done fighting those, everything will be nice and silent again. And it will show here that you have completed this because this, this is all lit up and it means it's done. So we're done with the red section. Now we're gonna go off over to the blue. Get your full vial of health. Now remember and keep in mind, each area has one gem in it. And it can be kind of puzzly in a few places to remember to get it. Okay, now we are going to see that once we step on this pad right in front of us, there's a thing to get and we have to get three of them to have that door fully open in this room in order to get where we need to go. So when these come out or going by, you can jump on them and go to the ones that you may need to go to and it will change things. And in this room, there's going to be more of these to hit because here's the, here's the second one. And then this also has a room to go into here. Now we can jump into here and it'll bring us right up and we'll be put into a room where we have to fight a few things. too rough to get. Got an achievement. Master of Destruction. Destroying 2,000 destructible objects in a single playthrough. Alright, we'll go into this opening. Jump over here and we'll get a couple more coin chests. Come back out. There's a hole to jump down over here, but don't go down there yet. You can collect everything around here that you may need. Coins and all. Health, everything. Alright, now you can jump down there. Collect these coins and step on the trapezoid. And drop down. Break this. That'll open up the people that you have to fight once you're done with this section. And you can start jumping on these again. You want to get the third one, the third thing that can open this door up to us on our left. Which I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, it is over here to the left. Yes. Now we'll head back over here. And go into the door. We have another thing to fight. He is also not that difficult to get. And when we go back in here, this is going to be our second gem and some coins. Two down, two to go. So you ride these back over to the door that you need to get to to get out. Which is this one. Now we're going to fight the larger enemy that came out.
I found that it helps to just stay up here. Because if he's doing that jumping, he can't really hurt you from up there. If he's alone. And every time that you start over another area, the vials of that health over in each corner regenerate. Alright, and now this blue section is completed as well. Now I'm going to go over to the purple one and bounce up. Alright, we're going to go in here. This one's a little more mazy than the other ones. And we're going to jump over. This is going to disappear. The blue stuff. And then you're going to have the orange stuff come up. You're also going to have three things to get this door open, too. This door is open here, in the back. Step on the trapezoid. That's going to open up another door. And then you're going to go out of here. And go over to the door that just opened. And you're going to do the same thing you did before and you're going to jump up and you'll be blown up into the air. Fighting more enemies again. These are going to be the ones that we've dealt with before. They're like the sandworms. The sandworms and Beetlejuice. Once you get all those killed, there is going to be a doorway that opens up. This level has tons of chests to collect. These holes are going to open up. There's going to be two holes that open. We're going to go down both. But we have to come back in in order to go down the other ones. So we're going to go out of here. When I first played, I ignored this one first. I went down the other one outside of the cave beforehand. I'm going to drop down a hole with two chests. It's going to open, you're going to hit this and it's going to put another gem into the thing for you to get. Then it's going to open this door and you're going to go right back in to where you came from before. Go right back in there. Then you're going to go down the other hole. Not this one, the other one. Inside of the cave. The reason I said to go down the other one first is because then you could just immediately go right back into here instead of having to travel around. That will open up that. See, because now all you have to do, this is, this is where you came in from originally. Now all you have to do is make this path and go into this door. Because otherwise you would have had to go all the way back around again. And this is going to be where your gem is. Remember when I told you in the very beginning when we were in the first area that you would see a gem. You saw a gem through a gate. That was this gate. 
Now when you come back out of this room with the gym, go off to the right so that you don't accidentally hit this trapezoid because if it changes orange, you can't go back. So what you're going to do is just go back out this room here. I mean, you can go back, but you have to just go around the whole square again and it just takes more time. All right, we're going to drop down here and then we're going to fight more enemies. Yippee doodles. Now that we've completed the third section, the purple is lit up and then we will go here to the green and that will be the final one. Again, you're going to be hitting the little things to get the door open. You're going to step on that trapezoid so that this door opens. Because once everything's lit up, it'll open. And this will have chests in it and there will be enemies in it too. Same little sand, sand dudes. And then you'll hit that and it'll go over to that side and you'll need to go back over there. It's kind of hard to get on there when it goes that fast because usually you'll fall. So you'll want to go over there and go to the other door. More chests with coins, lots of them. And then go out of this door and jump over. Hit this and a blue thing will come over. that and you'll go over here this will open you'll jump up and be blown up into the air again as soon as you're done fighting all the enemies in here that will, crystal will open but you can go around and check other places for health and coins. Break the crystal. Three, two or three doors will open. I think it's two in this area and you're going to want to go in those. Got an achievement! Yay! Four, collecting 50,000 coins in a single playthrough. Then you'll open another door with that trapezoid. Will you not want to go down there yet? Stand on this one, and then it opens that door. There are going to be two holes to drop down again. I don't remember which one in the first time that I played that I dropped down in, but I'm going to go down this one. We 
just hit that and put another gem into the door. This is going to open here. And this is closed. We're all the way over on the other side now. We want to go back into this blue door and jump down the second hole. That is right here next to the trapezoid. This will open the final thing and we will get the last gem. Hit this. You'll bring this over and then you'll jump up here and get gem number four, which is the final gem in this level. Then we will head out the door, which this is where we came in. All comes full circle, doesn't it? And we will fight the last group of enemies. Yeah, got them all. And now all of it is lit up. We have completed all of it. And then we walk out this area and there will be a few more chests to get coins from. And we head out the door. Achievement for completing the level. And we got all the gems. You will come out and get any unlocks that are available. And we will be doing the third and final boss of the game, I believe, called Unstable Grounds in the next video. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and also subscribe if you enjoyed the video so you won't miss any new content from me in the future. Until next time, have a wonderful day.